Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to control your Elgato lights wirelessly with your computer. This will work with any of the Elgato lights, the ring light, key light, or key light air. Here in this studio, I have two key lights, one on each shelf. They're both connected to the power and they are currently on. Now we're gonna go to the computer and we're gonna download and install the software for the lights. And I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step step how to actually control them through your computer. So go to the Elgato website, click on downloads, then scroll down and choose your operating system. I use Windows, then select your product. We're gonna to go to the light first, so go under lighting, key light, scroll down and then download the Elgato Control Center and then install it. Then go ahead and launch the Elgato Control Center. And then here on the bottom right corner, you'll see the Control Center and it says no accessories found. So if you have brand new lights, this is where you're gonna to go to add them. Now, if you already had your lights hooked up to a different wireless connection, then you're gonna to need to reset your lights if you wanna connect them to the, a new Wi-Fi. So on each light, there are buttons where you can actually reset them. For the key lights, there's a switch. I gotta hold that on the reset setting for 10 seconds until the light flashes three times and then it's reset. So I've already currently reset my two lights and we're gonna do this from scratch. So you can click on the gray button, add accessory or on the plus. We're gonna add an accessory. It's gonna start searching for the lights. And here you see that we have two lights that popped up. We have to do one at a time. So we're gonna click on the first one, connect. And then you have to make sure that you choose the same Wi-Fi that your computer's plugged into and then type in your Wi-Fi password. Now this might take a couple minutes, so be patient. And there you see it's been connected successfully. So click on finish. Now here you can see the light. You can adjust the brightness, the color temperature, as well as the name. I actually have the name left light from when it was previously installed, but it might give you a more generic name and then you can rename it whatever you want. So I like it at left light, that's fine. Then here we can adjust the color temperature. I'm gonna change it to 5,500 Kelvin and I'm gonna change the brightness all the way to 100%. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the other light. Click on add, it's gonna search again. And then we'll click on the other light that we have not yet added, select that, connect, and the same thing as earlier. And then here you'll see the second light has been added to the list on the control center and it has the name right light from my previous save, but again, you can rename it whatever you want. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna change the color temperature also to 5500 Kelvin, and then change the brightness all the way to 100%. So as you can see here, we have power buttons on and off for each individual light, as well as a yellow one on top. Now that one is for all lights that are connected, so every accessory will be controlled there. All right, so with one click of a button, I could turn off the lights, turn them back on. And anything I do here in the control center, whether it's color temperature, brightness, power on or off, anything I do here in the computer will instantly be done on the physical lights here wirelessly. Now on the top right of the control center, you see a preferences button, you can click on that. Here at the top, you see link accessory controls. I leave that unchecked generally. And then under that, you see that you can either check the updates manually or you can have it checked for it to do automatic updates. I always have that checked on. All right, I'm gonna press okay there. Now each light also has its own settings. So I'm gonna click right here on accessory settings for left light. And then here you can rename it if you want. And then under advanced, you can have the power on behavior. You can have it to restore defaults every time you power on the lights, or you can have it restore last used setting. That's what I like because when I leave and then I come back and I turn it back on, then I like it to have the exact settings I had previously. So. Whatever you want, I use restore last use setting. I'm gonna press okay. And that's how you control the lights on the control center. So there you guys have it. That's how you control your Elgato lights wirelessly with your computer. If you guys are interested in getting any of the equipment that I use, I do have links in the description where you can purchase them from either BH Photo or Amazon. It doesn't change the price that you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.